Hi, so last night I was doing a long coding session and I ran into an issue which I thought was I wanted to go more in depth in it. When we are creating our game, working with our game, we want to work with collections of objects and we want to be able to delete objects. Okay, um, so I'm just going to code this basic thing up. So say <clears throat> these things represent a bunch of game objects. Now the standard way to collect game objects together, one of the many ways, is a data structure called a vector. So as you can see here, we've we've collected a bunch of these together in our vector. I don't know why thingy isn't highlighting, but uh, should be working. So we can go ahead and print this out and check that it expects as check that it behaves as expected. Yep, and as we can see, <clears throat> we have pushed on seven things. So there are seven things in our vector, and if we loop through, we can see the pointer to the underlying object and the member variable there. Awesome, cool. Okay, now let's say we want to delete the object which corresponds to value eight. Okay, so what we have is we have an erase function. And the way the erase function works is, let me just, um, let's go this, we'll go So we'll check for the value of eight. And if the value is eight, then we erase. So we, um, we will make an iterator It starts at the beginning of the vector, and then we advance it to the position that we um, advance the iterator to the position that we want to delete. So if i is zero, that's the first thing, we'll just stay at the beginning and delete the beginning. If i is three, then we'll go three steps away from the beginning and delete that. Okay. Then we'll go um, erase the iterator. Then what I'll do is I'll just grab this code to just print out the contents and verify that things are working as expected. So yes, it works. But but we have an issue, and the issue is, okay, fair enough. What if we want to erase
thing A, or the thing that corresponds to, I don't know, pick a random number, 32. Ooh. Ah, but we have an issue here. Now the issue here is So we, we should be going 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. But we are erasing at the same time that we're looping through. And so the size is reducing. So this check here that we're doing, oops, uh, eyes less than things size, <clears throat> is not being performed properly. As we can see, it's not, it's not going through. In this case, in the final version, okay, in the final version, it is, we have, it turns out, and deleted the correct things, but there's, there's really no guarantee of that. Like, let's say, I don't know, and anyway, I'm sure you can see why this is a problem, because we don't just want to, we don't want to have any guess work here. We want things to behave entirely as expected. See, look at this. Okay, so we should be deleting the thing that corresponds to 64. However, because deleting things while looping through them dynamically changes the size of the array, then it never looks at element 64, and so element 64 never gets deleted. So this is a problem. Um... So what we can do is we can create a, um, what I'm going to call a bin. And that holds the integer positions on the array that we want to delete. So the first time we'll just look through, we'll collect everything we want to delete, make note of that. And then we'll do a second pass where we actually delete things. So I'm gonna just kind of keep that for later. So I'm just gonna push um, that position I onto the list. And now I'll look through the bin. do this. And by the way, we, we could have done this earlier as well. We should also, because all this does is removes the pointer from the vector. But the pointer is just a 64-bit number, right? Doesn't mean anything, except there is underlying memory, <clears throat> which has been allocated, which corresponds to that pointer. And so what we also need to do is make sure that we are deleting that underlying memory. Okay, um, great. Yep, so let's do that. And now we have an error. That's weird, okay. So what's happening? Well, let me, let me show you this. If we just try to delete one thing at a time. And now it works. So the error seems to come in when we're deleting multiple things at the same time. Now there's really no limit to how deeply we can <laughs> debug this in this simple case, so why not? We'll take the time. So it works with just one thing. So let's make, I'll go bool.
Okay, cool. So we're just doing this little guard check to check we're just deleting the first thing. So we want to delete the things at positions 3, 5, and 6. So if we go 0, 1, 2, 3, that's 8. 4, 5, that's 32, 6. Okay, good. <clears throat> now what happens is we go ahead, we delete thing 3. And then we look in here, we say, okay, we want to delete thing 5. That's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh-oh. 5 was meant to be 32, not 64. So, of course, as things are deleted, the size of the array, the size of the vector sh changes, it shifts down, and all the elements are shifted down, and um, these positions are not updated. So here's just a little thing we can do. We can get rid of this. Is we can say, okay, Yep, delete things I, and then we'll also say, there's probably, there, there, there has to be a much more elegant way to do this. Smart pointers, for instance, would help, um, but we're just gonna, why not? <laughs> Honestly, <clears throat> at, at a certain point, I feel like I'd be better off just doing a C style array. It is a little more straightforward since I am in control of what's going on under the hood, but um, this works too. Uh, so we want to start from um, everything past i in our bin, because everything before i has already been seen. And we want i uh, j to be just in case we get some funky position. We're going to say if J is further on, further along the list than I, because we're going to remove thing number I, then of course we don't want. Of course, J is bigger than I. We want the position. There we go, okay. Driving myself crazy. See how much fun this is? Okay. Just reduce it by one. Because we're gonna delete the thing, so we're gonna delete something in the list before it. So all the positions before should um, reduce by one. Okay, let's try this now. Oh, oh. Okay. So it, it, it's not very meaningful to set um, J to I plus one if I is a position that we're deleting, not an index within the bin. Ah, what a mistake. What a mistake. Okay, and finally we have it working. So as you can see, <clears throat> we have looked through the whole list. No errors there. I mean, no errors in looking through the whole list. We have exposed all the elements. And we, there were three things we wanted to delete. That was 8, 16, and 32. Uh, sorry, 8, 32, and 64, and they are now gone, and the size has gone down to 4, and we're deleting the underlying things, so the memory has been freed.
Okay, so let me just step through this code one more time because I know there was a little bit of debugging partly due to my own errors. I know how it is. So we start from the beginning of our bin. We're going to look through all the stuff. When we get to position I, we then look at the future of the bin, right? From the future of the bin right to the end. Okay. And if we find something where the position that we're going to delete is further along the list than our position, then because we're about to delete the thing before it, something before it, then we reduce that deletion position. And this simulates the way as you remove things from a list, the end elements get shuffled forwards. Then we go through the work of actually erasing the thing. It's also a great idea to clear out the bin after we've done this, because if we're going to be reusing this code to delete a bunch of different, because what is bin? It just holds integers, okay? So if we're gonna um, reuse that integer bin to delete a bunch of different things from other um, collections, then we wanna always clear it after, you know what I mean? And because these things in the bin are just pure integers, we can just clear them in the normal way. There's no underlying memory that needs to be freed there. Anyway, so there we have it. That's just my little quick demo on how to manage elements, how to delete things in a vector. I hope you enjoyed that because I, it still takes me a bit of time to wrap my head around that. Maybe that's just me. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.